I'm Whitney Morgan, Hashimoto's coach, functional medicine practitioner, and creator of the Thyroid Reboot Method. In my 10 plus years of working with women with thyroid issues, I've heard practically every question imaginable. So I've compiled a list of the most common questions that I get from both my clients and people who follow me on social media. And I'll be dedicating a short video to answer each question until I get through the entire list. For future reference, I'll be posting these short videos on YouTube under the playlist, Common Thyroid Questions. All right, the question I'll be answering today is, are Hashimoto's and hypothyroidism the same thing? But before we jump into it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you'll get notified every time I post a new video. The answer to today's question is a two-part answer because from a medical perspective, the answer is no, but from a symptom perspective, the answer is typically yes. Medically speaking, the primary difference between Hashimoto's and hypothyroidism is that Hashimoto's is an autoimmune disease and hypothyroidism is not. Hashimoto's occurs when your immune system makes the mistake of identifying your thyroid gland as a bad guy and it starts to attack it. This results in rampant tissue destruction of the thyroid and usually elevated antibodies. Hypothyroidism, on the other hand, occurs when your thyroid gland slows down its production of thyroid hormones. It just gets tired and sluggish. Quite simply, it's not performing at the top of its game. While the medical distinction between Hashimoto's and hypothyroidism seems pretty clear on the surface, unfortunately, many women who've been diagnosed with hypothyroidism often find out that they've been misdiagnosed and actually have Hashimoto's. So at this point, you might be thinking to yourself, well, how does Hashimoto's or hypothyroidism even happen in the first place? And more importantly, how does misdiagnosis happen? These are both great questions and I'll be answering those in future videos. Have you been diagnosed with either Hashimoto's or hypothyroidism? If so, drop a butterfly emoji in the comments. Okay, now for the second part of my answer, which remember is from a symptom perspective or a patient perspective. Typically, women with either Hashimoto's or hypothyroidism complain of the same symptoms. The most common being things like weight gain, low libido, poor memory, brain fog, thinning hair, feeling cold all the time, constipation, and even joint pain. And because Hashimoto's and hypothyroidism usually present with the same cluster of symptoms, doctors and functional practitioners rely on various lab tests in order to determine the correct diagnosis. If you found this video helpful, let me know, like it, subscribe to my channel, or share it with someone with a thyroid issue. And if you want to learn more about my thyroid reboot method and how you can rebuild thyroid function from the ground up, just click on the link that I provide in the video notes. And as always, if you have questions, just drop them in the comments. I do my best to answer each one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.